Yes, will everyone stand for, our, for the Pledge of Allegiance, please? We'll all say it together. I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with identity and justice for all. Thank you. you. may be seated. Wonderful. Welcome, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Congressman Scott's 16th Annual Congressional Art Competition. My name is Ray Califani, and this is my partner here, Andy Story. We work side by side to assist Congressman Scott in coordinating this wonderful event, which continues to grow and support year after year. We received artwork from a total of 42 students this year, from 13 high schools, including one private school. And it's such a pleasure to honor our participants today and announce the winners this year, as there are many art pieces from new participants, as well as pieces from a few participants who participated last year. So to our new student participants, welcome. To our returning student participants, welcome back. And to our schools, organizations, and corporate sponsors that have partnered with us to help create another great competition this year, we welcome you today and we thank you. So we'll begin with um, thanking our sponsors, thanking our elected officials that are here, and um, any other VIPs. So I'll, I'll call everyone out that's here to give thanks. We give thanks to Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, Douglas County Chairman. Please stand. We give thanks to uh, Mr. Don Barber, AT&T's Regional Director of External Affairs. We give thanks to Mr. Tim Williams, the Vice President of Marketing and External Affairs at Greystone Power. And we give thanks to Mr. Richard, Richard Siegel, City of Douglasville, Councilman of City of Douglasville. And we also want to thank um, Art, Art Institute of Atlanta's representative, Ms. Wendy Robinson. <laughs> Un unfortunately, SCAD's representative could not be here today. She was out with the flu. But we thank her for being here in spirit. Art Institute of Atlanta. Uh, you have done such a wonderful job year after year. You provide the money. You help the students. And over my 15 years, each year we've done this, 15 years, I'd say that's a lot of money that we've been able to get for you each year. Would you share with us the amount of money, the different things that Art Institute is doing, and why this is important to the Art Institute? Okay, well, good morning, everyone. Hold it up. Can you hear her? Good morning, everyone. It is such an honor and a privilege to be here, and it's a great way to start off my Mother's Day weekend, and I'm sure your parents feel the same. The Art Institute of Atlanta, while I don't have the total amount of the funding, I'm pretty new to the Art Institute of Atlanta, um, but we do take pride in providing opportunities for our students to be able to afford to attend college. So in addition to the scholarships that we are going to be awarding today, we do have additional scholarship funding at the school, and we do have initiatives to help our students be able to afford to attend college. We're very, very excited to be here. We're very, very excited about the arts and creative individuals. And we are a community of schools. We have 33 schools currently enrolling across the state. So no matter where you live, you might find an Art Institute of Atlanta. And know that at our school, we do have an open door policy. We know that coming out of high school, college might be a little intimidating. You might be a little nervous. But from the president's office, on down. Um, there's an open door policy. You never have to worry about school or you never have to worry about not doing well in one of your classes. We've got free tutoring. We've got so many opportunities. We just started a step team. Um, so we have lots of things for you to do in this creative environment. So there's culinary arts, digital filmmaking and video production, graphic and web design, fashion design, um, Anything that you can probably think of, we have. So we really welcome you, and we would love for you to come and tour our school. We have an open house event happening next Saturday. But any Saturday, you can come to the school, and we'd be more than happy to give you a tour and tell you a little bit more about our programs. So thank you for the opportunity. 
Thank you so much. What she didn't say is that today they're giving about $25,000. Give that a hand, won't you? How's that broken down? How's that broken down? Well, today, Art Institute of Atlanta is giving a $12,000 scholarship to the first place winner. They're giving a $7,500 scholarship to the second place winner. And they're giving a $3,500 scholarship to the third place winner. Boy, if that ain't $25,000, I don't know what. Thank you, my dear. Wonderful. Let's give Art Institute another hand for that, won't you? And my good friend from Greystone, right here in Douglas County, Tim Williams. Thank you, Tim, for going. Thank you for the invite, Congressman. We're always uh, happy to be able to assist our students. Youth and students are, are two of our favorite uh, uh, areas to give. Uh, our Greystone Foundation every year awards five $3,000 scholarships to youth not only located in Douglas, but in the portions of the eight other counties that we serve, South Fulton, Paulding, portions of Cobb, Coweta, Fayette, and Carroll. So if you're interested in uh, applying for one of these scholarships, either see myself or going to our website, it's very easy to do. We're very involved uh, with the partners in education programs in all the counties we serve, uh, will continue to be. And uh, that is, you know, we, we want to, we live in the communities here where we serve, so we try to be good stewards, and we appreciate Congressman Scott for everything he does uh, uh, in uh, attending to these very important needs. Thank you. Thank you. And now our chair lady of Douglas County. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. First of all, let's give Congressman Scott a big hand for his efforts on this. Thank you to the Art Institute for being here, here as well. On behalf of the Board of Commissioners, we are delighted uh, and honored to host this event here in our venue. We ask that you sit back, relax, and enjoy the moment. And we're so excited that you're here. I had an opportunity to see some of your artwork when I flew to Washington uh, this past, uh, well, in 2017, to see the great congressman had a meeting in his office and had an opportunity. I spotted some art, some of your art. So I'm so excited to be here. And congratulations in advance. And thank you again, Congressman Scott. Thank you, Chair Lady. Let's hear it for her. And now, Mr. Barber with AT&T. Thank you. You've been with us every year, and thank you for your participation. And incidentally, I have AT&T uh, <laughs> television, because sometimes Comcast doesn't come through. But anybody from Comcast, I love Comcast too. One is below ground, the other above ground. So when the storms come, we're situated either way. But you do a wonderful job. Give my best to all my friends at AT&T, and thank you for participating with us. Well, thank you, Congressman Scott. On behalf of at t we're just proud to continue our support of the arts competition. I know we've supported <coughs> for a number of years. I'm fairly still new in my role here in Douglas County on behalf of at t External Affairs, but uh, we're celebrating our, our 10 year anniversary of the at t Aspire program, which uh, we're a strong supporter of education through mentoring, success, dropout prevention, scholarships such as you'll receive today, so we're just a strong supporter of education. We're glad to continue our support here through this competition through the Cultural Arts Council of Douglasville and Douglas County. So thank you and congratulations to all the winners. Thank you, thank you. And now, my good friend, Councilman Richard Segal. Now, wherever I'm at, wherever I am, he is there. If it's in Cobb County giving scholarships for our military academy, he's there. I'm not a stalker. And, uh, pardon me? I'm not a stalker. You're not a stalker, <laughs> but you're my stalker, my good friend. And I'm telling you, without the cooperation of the local county officials, wherever I go, and they mentioned a number of counties, I think Greystone did, and just about all of them are my counties, Douglas County, Fulton County, Cobb County, Henry County, Fayette County. We cover the waterfront. 
And it's because I have friends and people at the local level, like the chair lady here, that work with us and support us. Thank you for that. Please say a word. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, I wasn't planning on speaking, but to tell you the truth, this is my third time coming to this. Um, well, let me back up. I am Mayor Pro Tem of the city of Douglasville, so I'm here uh, on behalf of our Mayor Rochelle Robinson and the entire city council to congratulate you on getting this far. This is my third year coming here, first time as Mayor Pro Tem. And I'm always blown away by the submissions that come from our youth and makes me feel a little inadequate because I know I could never do anything like that. So welcome to Douglasville, Douglas County. For those of you from New Manchester High School, pulling for you. Thank you, let's hear it for the council. All right, thank you all. Thank you for your patience with that, but you gotta know, they're the real people here that make this possible. Not, not just David Scott, I'm, I'm just really a person that is an instrument in using this, but without the money people, without the political help locally, none of this would be possible. Thank you for allowing me to take those few moments. Now finally, and then I will be through, the other group of people that this would not be made. I'm up in Washington dealing with, oh, Lord knows what. It's a thrill a minute up there, isn't it, y'all? Um, but at any rate, please give my staff, won't you? Chandra Harris, will you stand? And uh, Chandra is the district director. Isaac Dodo back there. <laughs> Sheila. Hey, Patrick, you can't hide. Come on up here, this is Patrick. Where's Dylan? Dylan here, got to be somewhere. I guess they're out front. And these folks are running the show. Now we get on with the main attraction. You all, we're so proud of you. And you look so wonderful. And we're going to take as many pictures as you want. We got family members here. So you all just tell me what you want for this. Outside the scholarships, of course. <laughs> but they'll be here. Now I will turn it back over to the folks in charge. Thank you. Yes. And now we're gonna begin calling out all our students, just honoring all, of, all the students that participated this year. So we're gonna call them out. It's gonna be a little swift, but we're gonna get to each and every one of you. So we'll get started. First student, Mr. Brian Beza. Would you, would you come up, please? Brian Basil from is from McEachin High School. <laughs> Mr. Dalton Bates. <laughs> Dalton Bates is from Union Grove High School. Ms. Mahogany Bracy from McEachin High School. Roxy Bridges, New Manchester High School. Zane Cook, Union Grove High School. Alice Colombo, Union Grove High School. Selena Corbin, Union Grove High School. <laughs> Sheila Corona, Riverdale High School. Kiara Daniel, McEachin High School. <laughs> oh. 
Tristan Davis, Union Grove High School. Gilliam Dillard, McEachin High School. Taylor Dillard, Dutchtown High School. Devontae Few, Langston Hughes High School. Kevin Galeno, New Manchester High School. Jocelyn Granados, Monday's Mill High School. <laughs> Michelle Hernandez, Langston Hughes High School. Alexandria Jackson, Creekside High School. Creekside. How are you? Great. Sydney Jackson, Martha Stillwell School of the Arts. Lexi Jarrett, Union Grove High School. <laughs> Bryce Landingham, McEachin High School. James Lane, New Manchester High School. Ciara Langer, Eagles Landing High School. Anthony Lara, Creekside High School. <laughs> El Ellis Artel, Hoya Lopez. <laughs> from New Manchester High School. Trinity McDuffie, McEachin High School.
Serenity Nunn, New Manchester High School. Reese Riddle, Langton Hughes High School. Sorry, Ricky Riddle, I'm sorry. Langton Hughes High School. Joseph Sasser, New Manchester High School. Daniel Sergbali, New Manchester High School. New Manchester High School. Alexi Thompson, New Manchester High School. <laughs> Raylan Wallace, McEachern High School. Kyra Elaine Wheeler, Langston Hughes High School. Kira, Kira. Kira Elaine Wheeler. <laughs> Kayla Whitmire, McKeedron High School. Najia Williams, New Manchester High School. <laughs> Takia Yesharun, Riverdale High School. And our last participant, participant that we're honoring is Sarah Yee of Union Grove High School. Let's hear it for these students. Ah, go, 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 go. Aren't you impressed with these students? Give them another hand, won't you? Now, you know, I mentioned that's how I got my start. That's why I like this. I saw what I consider the absolute greatest motion picture ever made on Broadway at the Critteron Theater. My father took me, and the name of that motion picture was The Ten Commandments, produced and directed by the great Cecil B. DeMille. They haven't made a picture better. Charlton Heston and Yul Brenner, magnificent, Moses and Pharaoh. And every time Moses would go to Pharaoh and ask him to let his people go, 
he would say to Pharaoh, so let it be written, so let it be done. So let it be written, young people, and so let it be done. Give him another hand, won't you? Now, I was, I think I was seven. I think I was about then. But they had this booklet to give away of all of the magnificent scenes in that movie. Parting of the Red Sea, the Holy Mountain, all of those. Anybody that's seen the motion picture understands what I mean. But it, 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 it reached deep into me. And I got that pictorial booklet, took it home, and all of a sudden, there I am doing all paintings, creating those scenes. But you know what it did for me? What it's doing for these students is when you're an artist, when you're kneeling and going deep into yourself, and you're sitting there by yourself, putting your creation on that campus, you're there alone with just your talent, God's gift, and the spirit which God placed in each of us. It focuses you. It gives discipline. So that not only wherever you go, whatever you do, that discipline and focus of being able to sit and take the time to explore your own gifts will mean so much to you as you go forward. And you're gonna say like me, being an artist helps you to make it down any and every road that life will take you. You are all winners. First place, A number one. Give our young people a hand. Now, I know y'all tired of me talking. <laughs> Let us get to the main event. I'm going to back out of the way and let my fantastic staff, who really put this together, um, and they spend hours all year working with the schools. And you see all the variety of schools that participate in this. From every sector of the Atlanta metropolitan area, you heard the names. It is a wonderful acclamation, and I thank my staff and Angie and Ray leading the way for doing such a great job. Now we'll turn it over to them, but let me say this, that I know we have family members here, and I want you all to know that I will make myself available so that you'll be able to take what pictures you would like, because without mom and daddy, and in some cases, grandmama and granddaddy. See, my granddad and grandmother raised me. I didn't live, start living with my mom and daddy till I was 11 years old. So I was raised by my grandparents on both sides and my mom and daddy. I wouldn't be standing here today if I didn't have that kind of strong family support. And that's what's so good as I look out and see the family the mothers and the fathers. So please, mothers and fathers, please allow me to take a picture with you and your children. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna um, name the students starting with honorable mention. And this student will win one pair of tickets to Six Flags Over Georgia. And the winner is Jocelyn Granados from Mundy's Mill High School. Isn't this beautiful? Uh, can everybody see? Oh, come on. She wants to stand right. the Stand in the front of you. Hold it up, bro.
Our fifth place winner will win. Um, your artwork will hang in our Smyrna district office for one year, and you also will receive two complimentary tickets from um, to the High Museum of Art in downtown Atlanta. Our fifth place winner is Mr. Joseph Sasser from New Manchester High School. Okay, our fourth place winner artwork will hang in our Jonesboro off district office for one year. You and your family will win one year membership to the High Museum of Atlanta, and you also will win a $250 individual scholarship to the college of your choice. Our winner is Ms. Kiara Daniel from Keetron High School. place winner will artwork we're hanging out in the Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport for one year you'll win a $500 individual scholarship to the college of your choice a partial scholarship to the Savannah College of Art and Design one week summer seminar valued at $600 and 3,500 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta our winner is Mr. Devontae Few from Langston Hughes High School <laughs> I think that comes to about $5,000. Yeah. That's great. $5,000, man. That's wonderful. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Wendy, you need to get in that picture. What did you say? What did you say? We are awarding Devontae Pugh with a scholarship to, get, to attend the Art Institute of Atlanta for $3,500. Congratulations. $3,500. That's not bad. So what does that come to a little over $5,000? Our second place winner artwork will hang in our Washington, D.C. office for one year. Uh, they will win a $750 individual scholarship to the college of their choice, a full scholarship to Savannah College of Art and Design one week summer seminar valued at $1,200 and $7,500 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta. Our second place winner is Mr. Bryce Landingham from Akitra High School. Man, way to go. <laughs> That's right out the Black Panther, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Now, this, oh, please, with the money. Wow. She, now, yeah, you get in that picture there. <laughs> Now, 
Not the, okay. Yeah, now she talks so softly from that, but she carries a big stick. $7,500 plus the other amount of money. That's over almost $10,000. And, and that picture will hang in my Washington, D.C. office. We get a lot of traffic in that office, don't we, Tim? Tim comes by there, y'all come by there all the time. Different congressmen and so forth. And uh, all the, the White House officials we talk to comes through and they look at what's on the wall. And you know I have a wall that's filled with the 13th Congressional District people. But none am I even more proud than when we put the artwork of you students up there. And we're so grateful. Now it's uh, time for first place. First place. So we got to do the drum roll. Our first place winner was uh, artwork will hang in the tunnel of the Canning House office building for one year. They will win a two, trip, two round trip airfare tickets on Southwest Airlines to attend the National Ribbon Cutting Ceremony in Washington, D.C., a $1,000 individual scholarship to the college of their choice, $3,000 per year scholarship to the Savannah College of Art and Design, renewable for up to four years with a total, or, no, with a total of $12,000, and $12,000 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta. Our first place winner comes from Akitra High School, Ms. Mahogany Brayton. <laughs> some of the comments that were made about Mahogany's art piece. Uh, it was stunning, great use of color and media textures. And, and the eyes. Mama's got to get her picture, man. It's Mother's Day. Come on, Mother. Let's give her a hit. Tears of joy, tears of happiness. What a wonderful Mother's Day gift that was. Thank you. Just about to bring tears in my eyes. Sorry for And I'll just, I'll just read out the comments again from the judges, just as far as what they said. I had to let, let, let her have her moment. Um, the, the piece was stunning. It was a great use of color and media. And it was amazing and captivating. The eyes that you see in the art piece are just very captivating when, when the audience views a picture. So uh, just beautiful comments from the judges, the judge the work. And congratulations, Mahogany, again. I know you work very hard for the piece that you have up here today. Thank you. Hey, let's give them a standing ovation. Give these students a standing ovation. Don't you think they deserve it? Yeah. 